Hi everyone and welcome to this session. In a previous video you have seen how to improve the bulk insert in Hibernate by adjusting the allocation size of in the sequence generator annotation. So we have seen that starting from the default value 50 so the performance is getting better. In this session I'm going to show you how exactly this parameter is working in Hibernate. So let's get started. For our demo, I prepared this test. I have one entity with an ID, uh, just two fields, and the ID is annotated with generated value using sequence. And to have more control on our sequence, we, we use this annotation, sequence generator. And you see the allocation only for test purpose is set to 10. And in my persistence XML file, I am setting a show squirrel to true. And in my test, I have only demo alloca allocation size in this function. It is one loop. I'm trying to persist 26 object using this function. And as we have already seen that persist just create, just add the entity to the first cache level. So only in Java, there is no interaction with the database. This is not uh, really true, but we see that persist doesn't send the information or flash the information to the database, but Hibernate has to to get the IDs from from uh, the ID from the sequence and therefore a uh, round trip to the database happens we will see that now so let's start it and we see now the result yeah so the first time Let's see, and again, here selects from the sequence. So Hibernate is getting the information from the sequence. And again, and just after af uh, after 10 entities. So let's have a look here. So Hibernate is getting uh, the first 10 values from the sequence, but this looks like a bug in Hibernate because Normally, there is no need to get the second value from, from the sequence. But here we see that after the 10 values are consumed, Hibernate will go to the database to get the next uh, 10 uh, values. So our sequence, we can see that the sequence here, let's check that I'm using Square Server, connect. And you see that my sequence has an increment 10 and using this annotation and this because of the use of this annotation this uh, has two impacts it creates the sequence and also tell the hibernate that you don't need to go each time to get the ids but only do that only once only all 10 uh, times and we can do another test. We can see here in the database in our table. And you see that the, uh, there is no gaps. But what we can try now, so let's start again the test and open another session. We start again and let in another session, we will just try to get uh to to get the sequence from the database so let's start it one time and you see it is incremented by 10 and we will see the impact on our test so let's see if the test is done yes and you see uh, it is consistent it, uh, as already said this is bug in hibernate he Hibernate does need to do that twice, only one times, but uh, it is okay, only at first time. After that, when the 10 values are consumed, Hibernate try to get the next uh, 10 values, and 
Hibernate did the same here. So let's look in the database, the impacts. So this is my table. We sort uh, after th this one. And you see here 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. And because we accessed the sequence from another, uh, from another session and we see the gap. But, but we see that Hibernate uh, consistently uh, only after consuming all all the numbers from the sequence trying to get again uh, the sequence from the database so thank you for watching and bye